Hi, I'm Allison Davis coming to you live from GBTA Broadcast Studio at GBTA Convention 2019 Chicago. We're here at McCormick Place, and this afternoon I have with me Catherine Williams of Dots and Lines. Catherine, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thanks for having me. It's an it's honor to be here. Pleasure to have you. So, Catherine, Dots and Lines is your own company. You launched about a year ago, right? So, I'm curious. From your perspective, what are some of the unique challenges and opportunities that you've encountered as a startup company with female ownership? Well, you know, I think that we're really fortunate in the time that we're living in and, you know, and talking to uh, some other people in the industry and, you know, maybe women who uh, entered the workforce or so we baby boomers, um, you know, the challenges that I've had are, are pretty few and far between, which has been fantastic. Um, I think sometimes, you know, uh, my business partner is um, older and he is a male, and so sometimes we've we'll been hold in that meetings. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, he's really wonderful, and um, so sometimes we've been in meetings where people will just direct their line of questioning to him um, instead of me. But you know, it really has been very minimal, and I think that. Uh, we're in a really great position right now in terms of the atmosphere in the industry with things like Win It, things like GBTA, GBTA Ladders, which I know we'll get into, um, that you know the opportunities for women and for young people are, I think, better than they've ever been. Yeah, absolutely. So, and you know, I'm gonna use another buzzword here, millennial, we all love that word, um, but you are a millennial, yes. as am I. So tell me a little bit about the generational gaps you see within the travel industry. Well, you know, I think that that's another thing that presents a really great opportunity for people who are our age and, and younger, Gen Z. Um, you know, we do have a, a workforce that tends to trend a little bit older, um, you know, here in the corporate travel industry. But, um, you know, when those people do retire, we have a really unique opportunity as a younger generation to come in and, and fill some of those roles. Um, I think that, you know, that being said, we have to take advantage of the rich knowledge that these uh, baby boomers bring to us while we have them still here in the workforce. Um, and so, you know, that's something that I'm actively trying to do, and I encourage everybody else to do as well, is to make sure that uh, they don't leave the workforce without passing on that knowledge to us. Absolutely. It's on us. It's on them, but it's on us as well to get all the knowledge we can from them. And just work together. Who cares? Millennial, not whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. So, okay, you just mentioned ladders, GBTA yes. ladders. GBTA is a mentorship program, yes. which I know you've been involved with for quite some time mm -hmm. as a mentee, moving up into leadership as part of the communications committee. So how has being involved with ladders and the one-to-some mentorship experience contributed to your career development thus far? Well, you know, I think just personally, it's been a fantastic program. I've had a lot of really great opportunities to be involved in different aspects of GBTA that I might not otherwise have been um, able to be a part of. Um, but I think that, you know, the, the one-to-many kind of mentorship, mentee relationship has been really unique and interesting to me. I've been a part of one-on-one -on -one mentor programs in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that the team atmosphere has been really fantastic because, you know, you have other people for that monthly meeting that help keep you accountable. Mm -hmm. um, so when it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation or one-on-one -on -one meeting, it's so easy to say, oh, well, we just can't make it work this month. Our, my schedules are crazy. You know, we're traveling, whatever it happens to be. Um, with a team mentality, it's kind of like, you know, everybody else is on the call, so mm -hmm. you kind of need to make it too. Built-in accountability. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, the project aspect has been really great as well because, you know, with every year there being a different theme and a different, um, you know, kind of, I guess, thread throughout the season that you have to pre present on and speak to, um, that's been really educational as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, also gives an opportunity for, look at this vast expo floor behind us. We have so many different kinds of suppliers within our industry, different sectors, so many different touch points in this ecosystem. So it gives you a chance to learn from all of those people, absolutely. not just one-on-one, -on -one, gain all the knowledge you yes. can. I know you've taken full advantage of that. It's been fantastic, great. yes. <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much again for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Once again, I'm Allison Davis coming to you live from GBTA Broadcast Studio at, in Chicago. Thank you for joining us.